Good morning, Cheetahs. Welcome to the South Greenville Cheetah Spot. This is Mrs. Tedder with your morning announcements. Today is Monday, April 18th, 2016. Again, today is Monday, April 18th, 2016. Today is our 144th day in school. We've been in school for 100 44 days. Please stand while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and recite the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, cheetahs. You may be seated. After you've made it to your seat, we're going to pause for a moment of silence. All right, teachers, now it's time for a uniform check. Boys' shirts need to be tucked in at all times. Shirt colors are white, navy blue, black, gold, or yellow. Pants, shorts, and skirts should be khaki, black, or navy blue. Shoes should be tied at all times. No coats or hoodies are allowed in the building unless you have a uniform form approved sweater or jacket, which has no hoodie and no logo. At this time, we're going to review our South Greenville Elementary expectations for PBIS. Number one, repeat after me. I will be prepared. Number two, I will always be respectful. Number three, I will work hard. And number four, I will be safe. Remember, these are our pause expectations and you are expected to meet these daily. Now it's time for today's Cheetah Morning Review. For math for Monday, April 18th. For kindergarten, start at 41 and count on by ones. For first grade, start at 20 and count by tens to 100. For second grade, Zion had 150 marbles. 79 of those marbles were blue. How many were green? For fourth grade, Rodney got to park at 745. While he was there, he walked his dog for 35 minutes and played for 15 minutes. At what time did he leave the park? For fifth grade, Norma ran a race in 18.307 seconds. How is 18.307 written in expanded form? Now I read it that way for a certain reason because if I read it the way it should be read, it would give you the answer. For ELA for Monday, April 18th, kindergarten, read the following nonsense words. First grade, what is an example of a nonfiction text? For second grade, what is an acrostic poem? For fourth grade, which step would come first, which step should come first in instructions for cleaning a room? One, pick up any clothing, toys, or books on the floor. Two, vacuum the carpet. Three, polish the furniture. For science, for Monday, April 18th, name the parts of a plant. For first grade, could an animal live if they did not have any water? Explain. For second grade, what does a caterpillar turn into? Excuse me. Second grade, what does a caterpillar turn into? For fourth grade, what things make up an ecosystem? For fifth grade, what conditions are necessary for heat conduction to occur between two objects? Good luck on today's Cheetah Morning Review.